What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Neo here again with some uh, Titan Souls gameplay. Now, I'm excited because uh, this kind of <laughs> a little backstory here. Um, I was never good <laughs> at Zelda games. I never beat any of the Zelda games because I wasn't very good at uh, in the boss battles. I'd always die. I just just gave up. So I feel like this is kind of like my second chance at redemption here. Since this does take inspiration from the uh, kind of Zelda-like boss battles. Which is what Titan Souls is all based around. You're this mysterious archer um, who's hunting these bosses for their souls. <laughs> or these titans for their souls. Um, takes inspiration from Dark Souls as well. And uh, more than just, you know, the title, hopefully. But uh, yeah, I actually already put a bit into it already. Uh, I killed two of the bosses, died six times. So hopefully uh, we'll be able to finish this out. So uh, let's just go ahead and jump right in, start a new game. Okay, so here you are, this uh, nameless archer who can roll with X, of course, and if you uh, press C to fire, that's great. Uh, you can also retract your arrow, or recall your arrow by holding down C. So as you're supposed to be able to, supposed to, it's recommended, highly recommended that you play with a controller, but I don't... I don't want to do that, so uh, this is going to be uh, just regular keyboard gameplay, so I feel like that might hurt me later on, but I, uh, we can take it, right? So this is our checkpoint, uh, this is where you'll come back every time you die, and we'll go ahead and get started with the first boss. Each door holds the boss, and you can see his little icon, I'm, I'm actually pointing at the screen. Uh, the icons above the doors describe what each boss is kind of, uh, what you can hope to find in each boss room. So let's go ahead and jump in here to our first boss. I'm trying to decide if I should, if I'll break these up in each boss or not. We'll see. So here's our first boss. This is actually one of the easier ones before I, <laughs> I say that now. So with each each time you hit him with the arrow, his heart, uh, he'll split into two. So you gotta just keep doing that. It's, it's fairly straightforward, boss. <laughs> Before I die. Oh. Wow, he jumped over that. All right, so we're gonna recall this arrow, and he likes doing that. Okay, so I didn't know that, but the arrows actually bounce off the walls. So let's uh, see if we can't. Oh, yeah, the goo slows you down, so you gotta keep on the move. <laughs> that was completely luck. Uh, so apparently, when you recall the arrow, you actually does damage to the mob. So if I could just hit that heart. Oh, so close. Call recall. Oh, was he jumping? It didn't work that time. <laughs> this is actually getting a bit. Oh, too close for comfort. Alright. There we go. First boss done. So we're gonna recall this. And stuff happens. And he returned with nothing changed. Yeah, I don't know what absorbing the souls actually does, but <laughs> nothing noticeable, I can tell. He doesn't look any different. Uh, you only get one arrow, uh, just as always, so I don't think that's ever going to change. But, oh uh, yeah, it's the first boss. <laughs> Fairly short, I know. 
Uh, I think I'll just cut it off here, and I think we will break up into uh, segments of bosses until something happens. So yeah, it's pretty short. Uh, yeah, we'll just keep moving on.